So let's start with a little bit of customization in our new GoDaddy email account. I like to change things, you know, change the colors, add some folders, filter messages to just make my email experience a little bit easier. So one of the first things I'm going to do is to create a folder so that I can filter messages. So the way that you create a folder is you come here on, over on the left hand side where it says a uh, new folder and you click that and it opens up a dialog box that asks you for the name of the folder. So in this case, I'm going to call the folder Twitter and then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to my inbox and I'm going to put a check box next to one of the messages that came from Twitter and then I'll come over here on the upper right hand corner and choose an action and that action is going to be create a message filter and then I'm going to click apply. It will open up a new window here for me and since I set up my Twitter account using the email address twitter at bootstrappingwithoutboots.com I know that all the messages I receive from Twitter are going to be at that account. So I just take messages that are from that account and then when it asks me which folder that I want to move it to, I decide that I want to move it to the Twitter folder. And then I just click OK. And when I click OK, it will ask me, it will tell me that the message filter was successfully created. And then it will ask me if I want to do a search for the messages that are in my inbox and see if there are any there and then filter them into that new folder. So I just execute the filter on the messages that are currently there and I know just because I'm looking at it visually that I have two messages that are currently in my inbox from Twitter. So I execute the folders, it'll show me the two messages have been moved and we'll see that those messages have been moved and now any message that I get from Twitter that comes to that address is going to go into the Twitter folder. The next customization that I want to do is to kind of change a little bit about the color of uh, the inbox itself. So what I'm going to do is click where it says settings and then I'm going to hit display settings. And under display settings it, it lets me choose the time zone that I want to have, um, in the inactivity timeout, like if I wanted to time out if I'm away from my computer for an hour or even up to 24 hours, I could customize it in that way. Um, but I want to click the tab that says themes because I want to change the color. So right now it's in the classic theme. Um, you have a different choice color. You can go to a lighter blue. You can go to pink, orange, yellow. Um, I just will pick, uh, I don't know what color we're going to go to with uh, the bootstrapping without boots. Um, let's see if there's something. I'll click gray just for the time being because um, that's what I think of when I think of bootstrapping, <laughs> I guess. Um, oh no, maybe orange. Let's go with orange. So I'm going to choose orange and then click OK and then you'll see that the changes will take place in my inbox. Um, it might take a second but you'll see those changes will take place and now I have a new custom theme and I've also created a new folder that's filtering my Twitter messages and you can just create as many folders as you want and filter as many messages as you want and there you know a little bit more about how to customize your GoDaddy email account to make managing your emails easier.